Story number one, headline number one on the most important topic that is now about 20 or so days away to be done, or at least to be starting to be done, is the election in the United States. Uh, President, uh, President Donald Trump, former president, vice president, current uh, Kamala Harris, running for this high office again to be number 20, uh, 47. Now, what will happen in the meantime? Well, they're doing a hard, hard, last, fast push to do whatever they can to promote themselves. Get the word out to people who, you know, with 20 days till election, say they didn't know what's, what's going to happen, or at least people who don't quite know what's going on. And there is some actual actual contention that's saying you don't really know who the candidates are, even though Donald Trump's been president already and has been saying these things for all this time. But Kamala Harris is kind of a new-ish type of person to some of these things. <coughs> and if you've only seen the sort of boring things she did in, in, in Congress as a senator and just sort of her sitting on the sidelines as vice president, you may not know exactly what she's going to say. You may not trust her. So she's going on to a new blitz of media because she's essentially avoiding it, essentially, you know, after killing the candidacy of one Joe Biden. She is rumored to be going on the Joe Rogan podcast soon. Now, no one's said whether it's going to happen or not. But Joe Rogan is a totally different animal. Yesterday, and we're going to sneak this story in, in here. Yesterday, she had a chance to do a town hall, an audio town hall, radio town hall with Charmaine the God to kind of talk about some Detroit stuff, some some Michigan stuff, some things there after you know Donald Trump bashed Detroit in Detroit. And the reviews were mixed. One, uh, Charlemagne did go after hard on a couple issues, but two, he seemed to let her stay on script a lot. So the word salads were there. Will this happen with a Joe Rogan podcast where she may sit for three hours and maybe smoke pot? She probably won't smoke pot, but uh, she'll sit for three hours with Joe Rogan, who actually does have poignant questions, even if he goes down rabbit holes and kind of gets to the big old uh, playing up to his audience, which is basically um, 80 percent men and around 55 percent men under 35. We will see how this happens. If it happens, uh, of course, Donald Trump has taken the non-traditional route and doing a lot of podcasts these days and not doing much in the way of mainstream media. Kamala Harris not doing much of either, although she is going to get her first Fox News uh, interview today or tomorrow being taped coming forward. And we'll see if the Joe Rogan thing, the experience for her actually does become an experience 